Hello folks, welcome back to the Urban Rider Studio. Today I have a luggage option for you from the company Knox. This is new to us, it's the Knox EDA, or Everyday Adventure Rucksack. It's available in the black camo color you can see here, and it comes in just shy of 150 pounds. I should also point out in terms of headline figures that this is not a fully waterproof rucksack, although it is listed as being water resistant and quite heavily water resistant, but I will expand on that point as we go through. However, if you do want a fully waterproof option, they also do the Knox Studio, which I'll leave links to in the description. I have to say though, in terms of personal preference, the Everyday Adventure just has the edge on the studio for me. And I say that having owned a previous version of the Knox Studio, and I loved that backpack, definitely got my money's worth out of it as well, and I have no complaints with my experience there, but I think that this one has a bit more intelligently laid out compartments, and it's just a bit easier to get on with day to day. But if I were talking about waterproofing and the reassurance that having a fully waterproof bag will give you, then there is definitely an argument and a case to be made for going for the studio if you prefer. Now then, if we look at the design of the bag I have on the table, it has a camo effect to the front. Normally not a massive fan of that, but actually it's quite subtle. It doesn't stand out too much. And it adds a bit more character actually to the overall look of this. It's also leather-free construction, which is quite a good thing. The majority of this is made using a durable 600 denier canvas fabric. And it's been given a water resistance coating. So in general, the bag itself as a whole is water resistant. And then you've got extra little things like a zip on the laptop compartment on this side, which is also waterproof, which definitely will help with that. Now, having been burnt in the past with bags, um, I'm not sure I'd trust that myself when it comes to something as precious as a laptop on anything more than just a light trip, because you never know if it's gonna start raining heavy, you're gonna panic because you've got something very expensive in there, unless of course you have a separate fully waterproof laptop pouch, which then you would put in there. And I definitely employ that tactic on occasion. But if I knew it was going to rain or if there was a decent chance of it raining heavy, I would probably confine my laptop to the center where it is going to be safer. But for the rest of the time, quite convenient having a laptop pouch there. And actually, if we're talking about size, and size is important no matter what anyone <laughs> tells you or you tell yourself, uh, but when it comes to laptop compartments, this is quite a small MacBook. Now this obviously will fit in here, but I don't get much resistance when it comes to most laptop pouches on most of the bags that I come into contact with, but there's a lot of room in there. So even if you've got a larger laptop, you will be able to fit it in that compartment, which is good. But like I say, if you need to take that out and put it in the center instead, obviously you've got room in there as well. The other pouches you'll notice on the front also have extra compartments in them. So first and foremost, we have quite a decent size pouch on the front there, which you can put some stuff that you need a bit more easy access to. And even that has extra little compartments in it there, like a little pen pouch, I assume, somewhere in there. Some mesh paneling, some more zip pockets. So you can keep your stuff separate if you need to remember exactly where it is, so you're not rummaging around, uh, which is something you will forego on the studio. That is much more of an open pouch on the center, which you just kind of bung most of your stuff in with a few extra compartments in there. So that's always nice to see. It just makes it a bit easier to use. I'll come back to this pocket on the front there, but that's for a helmet pouch. And then you obviously have the main compartment, which is a suitcase-like compartment in as much as you can open this like a book. So you can open it there, obviously if it's flat and laid out, it just makes it so much easier to put your things and keep them separate. Obviously you've got a big compartment here, which actually is quite substantial. I believe the overall size of this is around 25 liters for capacity, which is a comfortable amount. Anything more than that and you have a chance of overloading yourself, making it quite uncomfortable, especially if you're doing longer trips. So 25 liters for me is about as big as I would wanna go for most occasions, but you can get quite a lot in there, especially if the storage is cleverly laid out like this. Now it depends what you want to stick in there, um, but you have additional mesh panels on this side as well, smaller ones. So if you've got things like underwear, if you're doing a long trip away, some clothing that you wanna keep separate, you can obviously just partition this as you might require. 
And the fact that you can fully unzip that means that, again, you're not rummaging around. Now, with some other bags, we like to highlight when they use a white liner because it makes it a bit easier to see your stuff in there um, rather than, again, just sort of feeling around for it. But when it opens fully like this, it's not hard at all, even with the black liner, to see your stuff in there and get quick access to it. What you'll also notice on the back around your shoulders is it has an additional pocket with a small zip at the front here. So this obviously is comfortable against your back and it is breathable. But if you open that up, it's designed to take a water bladder, which is handy for on the go hydration. You don't have to use that. You could use that for anything else. And again, that's quite a decent size actually on there if you need it. It also has a bottle pouch. So if you don't want to bring a water bladder with you, but you need water, obviously you can stick that in there. And that is quite handy. And then this pouch on the front, this reflective panel actually. So that's quite handy anyway, makes it a bit more visible. But if you open that up, you have a helmet pouch to carry a helmet with you, either when you get off the bike and you want to walk around and just not carry that helmet loose, or when you're on the bike. Now, one of the things I like about this, one, it's inbuilt, so you have to remember to bring it with you, it's just there as and when you need it. It's a decent size, but it's obviously flexible, so it's easy enough to get your helmet in there, but it also sits quite securely. So even if you're on the bike, and you're moving around, you don't have your helmet kind of shaking from shoulder to shoulder, getting in your way and being frustrating, if I'm being honest, which I've had sometimes in the past with other helmet pouches. So with this one, you can secure it at the top, but it also has fastening points on the sides as well to just keep it centrally on that bag so it's not rocking around and distracting you. The other thing that's useful about these mounting points is actually if you've got rock straps on your bike and you want to take your backpack off and secure it to your seat, you could obviously loop through there and it's not going to go anywhere. It's completely safe and secure. Ergonomically, it's well designed. It's comfortable to interact with. Something actually, small point that I particularly enjoy is how padded and comfortable this handle is. It's nice and chunky, just feels good in the hand. And actually, something else that I've just remembered is that you've got a micro lock insert in the base, which is what they use for their armor. So basically, it's impact absorbing. And the reason it's on the base of this is, again, if you have something precious in there, as you put your bag down, you hear that clonk that makes your heart sink. If you're a little bit absent-minded, you might well drop something precious and obviously damage it as you're placing it on the floor. So it's good that it's got some padding in there. What you'll find with the studio, however, is that that's actually got rubber padding on the bottom. So it's a bit more durable in that sense, but it's still great that you've got some padding on there for your valuables. And then round at the front, obviously we have the harness, which I will be honest with you, I have seen more comfortable from the likes of Krieger, but that's somewhat to be expected. Some other bags go hard on the harness and they really make sure that it sits well on your shoulders. Now this doesn't sit badly by any means, but it is a bit softer, a bit looser. So a little bit less structured, let's say, than the likes of Krieger. But in its favor, it's got some nice features like reflectors on the front there. It also has a chest strap, which is adjustable and it's got a strap around your waist, which I've definitely said in the past that I do like using that, or at least I have, but I've been using it less more recently. So I like when you can actually detach that, which you can't sadly with this, but it shouldn't get in the way too badly. And actually it does add a bit more safety and security to the backpack and a bit more comfort actually to hold it where it needs to be as you move around. So you can buckle that around your waist, or if you want to, you can tighten that in and put it behind your back, which sometimes is what I will do just for the sake of speed and convenience. But something else with the straps is they have numerical value. So you can see on both sides that you've adjusted it to the same degree. That is quite handy because sometimes it's a bit fiddly and you're not sure if you've quite adjusted it symmetrically or if you just, your shoulders are a bit wonky. Uh, on this one, there's no doubt you can actually see where you've pulled that tight to. And then the last feature to mention is the bag actually comes with an included waterproof cover that you can stick over the top if you need to. So if you know it's going to rain and you want a bit of extra reassurance, you can stick this over the top very easily. It's elasticated, so it'll stay there nice and secure. and It'll just give you a bit more peace of mind. Now, if you want to check this out for yourself, I will leave links in the description. I will also leave links to the Knox Studio if you want to compare and contrast. I'll see you soon.